welcome back to Fairy Friends and today's video is going to be why guinea pigs can't live alone and this question has been asked to me so many times and um, what will happen if your guinea pig um, lives alone um, you know loads of questions just like that can a guinea pig live alone what will happen um, how many guinea pigs do you recommend I get stuff like that and I'm going to be answering those kind of questions today so if you own guinea pigs you will probably know that they are herd animals so that means that they in the wild they live in large groups so there is normally one boar and lots a boar is a male guinea pig if you don't know and lots of sows which are female guinea pigs therefore it is natural to house your guinea pigs with other guinea pigs and i would recommend if you are new to owning guinea pigs pairs of twos or threes but you can give your guinea pig you can house guinea pigs in large herds but i'd only recommend doing that after you've had guinea pigs for a few years so you will know what you are do so you know what you are doing if your guinea pig does live alone they'll become very depressed and sad and my guinea pig tiger lives alone i know she does live alone but not technically because she has other guinea pigs to talk to through the bars they rub noses sometimes and they can sit and talk to each other so that is better than nothing even though she can't physically cuddle up to them she does technically not live alone because there's a guinea pig right next door to her she also goes in the run with them sometimes but not very often just because she's very territorial and i have to sit there and watch them to like make sure that they're okay because obviously they're not like properly bonded yet if you are wondering, Tiger can't live with the other guinea pigs because she's very territorial, so she doesn't like to share her home and stuff. If a guinea pig lives alone, they will not die, um, but they will be very sad, and they might die of, like, depression and, like, heartbreak, if you can die of that, but they will be very um, sad, and they won't be as healthy and as happy, and if your, if your guinea pig lives alone, they will also be not as tame, because the bigger the group of guinea pigs you have, the more tame your guinea pig will be because they are around, surrounded by more people, so they feel more safe and secure. And if you have like one guinea pig, they're never really going to feel safe because there's no one of their own kind who they can cuddle up to. Also, if you keep your guinea pig alone, you will need to give them extra warmth in the winter because guinea pigs cuddle up to each other because that's what they naturally do in the wild so they cuddle up to each other in like um in cold times to keep themselves warm and obviously guinea pigs can't do that if they're kept alone so you need to try extra hard to keep them warm and you also need to spend a lot more time with them but you need to remember that no matter how much time you spend with your guinea pigs it does not make up for the time for the time of another guinea pig because you will be away from them at least 10 hours a day um, and obviously night time you can't spend time with them if you're at school or work you can't spend time with them either so having you with them as much time as possible I mean it helps but you it doesn't really make that much difference because guinea pigs just need so much more time and yeah, you basically can't make up for the time a, another guinea pig companion could give to them. So you need to remember that. Because lots of um, like pet shops, and I know you shouldn't get your pet from a pet shop, but most people do. And lots of pet shops and rescues and breeders, they sell guinea pigs like they have offers on. So you can have like two for the price of one. <laughs> that sounds a bit weird because it's like living things. But you know... It's not like buying two separate guinea pigs. You have like a discount, a discount when you buy two or three or four. And most rescues already have guinea pigs in pairs as well. So if you go there, you'll have a ready bonded pair. And it's just, I don't know why people would just get one guinea pig. It isn't, the cage doesn't need to be much bigger. I don't think the cage needs to be any bigger. Maybe like a tiny bit. But the requirement for one guinea pig 
cage I think is about the same for two guinea pigs so you don't need more it doesn't need to be a bigger cage really as long as the cage is big already you don't need more food because two mouths I mean like one mouth to feed is basically just the same as two mouths the guinea pigs don't eat that much anyway it doesn't make that much difference. If it was like one and four, then it'll make a bit of a difference. But one and two guinea pigs doesn't make much difference. I know a lot of websites say that guinea pigs can be housed alone, but they really can't. And you might as well just get two guinea pigs if you're getting one. It doesn't cost much more. In the long run, it doesn't cost much more either. It's just, it doesn't really make much difference to your lives. And also they are so much more fun to watch. One guinea pig, um, it's just going to bore you. I know that sounds a bit mean, but they will bore you after some time. Just having one guinea pig, they can't interact with any other guinea pigs or do anything. Um, so they can't really do anything interesting. If you have two or three or four or more guinea pigs, it will be so fun to watch them play because they can talk to each other and have little arguments together, which is really cute. Um, and they can just do so much more and their lives are so much more interesting and it's so much more interesting for you so i think it's more enjoyable to have two guinea pigs as like a person like an owner as well so it's better for you and for the guinea pig so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to comment rate and subscribe and please comment any questions you have down below bye